And Raskin, who led the charge, Representative Raskin, claimed that he wanted to try the president on facts. We're going to go after him on facts. Again, something we know that they're lacking. Something that he knows they're lacking. Emotions? Yes, they've got plenty of those. Frustrations? Sure, they've got those. They didn't like the guy. They never did. He's threatened them. He's always threatened them. But facts they didn't have. They had hearsay. They had all these suggestions, but none of them, none of them substantial. None, none of them anything that a reasonable person would hear and be like, yeah, he did that. No, he didn't. You could get someone to hate him further. They're, they're good at that. They convince them people of that all the time. The mainstream media convinces people of that all the time. Big tech does all the time. It's been their mission, their goal in life. But, but presenting facts and, and good evidence is something that they've struggled with. And as he said, we're going to do it based on facts. He then entered a, a video that's misleading and doctored, you could say. They kind of, I didn't play it. You can find it. It's like nine minutes long. So I figured that was a long video to play. But it shows parts of his speech. Then it shows people rioting and going crazy. Again, all stuff that we condemn and, and are not for. But neither was he. And then it shows more parts of his speech. And then it shows more of that. And they infer and insinuate that he led them there, which again, if you listen to his speech, watch his speech, read the transcript, you know was not the case. You just had a bunch of crazy radicals who were fed up, who were abandoned by the media, big tech, and a lot of this country, and wrongly let it all out there. Again, there was, there was people from the other side there too, but the whole thing was bad. But saying he did it was ridiculous. And as we've talked about, ad nauseum. And somehow the people in that, that room, that chamber yesterday voting, refused to listen to. And CNN and, and media outlets refused to listen to themselves because they themselves have said it, that the FBI and other law enforcement agencies have said this was pre-planned. He can't have incited it if it was pre-planned, which everyone is saying is the, is the case. But again, let's keep up this narrative. Let's continue to divide America. And then he, Raskin, who's got a pretty epic bald spot. Again, not bald shame, I'm bald too, but it's, I, I had never noticed that before. But there was a top-down camera yesterday. It's, it's epic. It's pretty, pretty impressive. Maybe time just to shave. But um, he cried and said that he wanted healing like so many of these people do on the other side. So many of the Democrats. But he doesn't or he wouldn't be seeking impeachment for a president who didn't incite the riots and is not even in office anymore. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do that if he wanted unity and healing because they know, they should know, if they don't, God help us, we're in worse shape than, than I even thought we were, which is unimaginable because I don't, I don't know that we can be in worse shape. But if they think that this is going to help and bring healing when there's a bigger following and political movement behind Trump than we've ever seen before in politics, if they think this is going to help, gosh, they're sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. But here we are. It's happening again. I do not see them getting to 67 votes. It's 2021, so anything is possible. But if you're a betting man or woman, I wouldn't count it. I wouldn't stress about it. I don't think it's going to happen. This is just political theater. This is what the Democrats do. America's under attack. And they're all around us. I'm talking about liberal Democrats. And they're out to destroy everything that we've worked so hard for. Mammoth Nation's here to fight for you. You only get one vote. So let's join forces. We support conservative lawmakers and the causes you hold so dearly. We stand behind our police, veterans, the Second Amendment, and much more. We need your help. So join today.